Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question, which is taken from this topic, the question tells us if y is equal to x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15 plus x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15. If y is equal to this entire expression, then we have been asked, what is the value of x square minus 1 d2y over dx square plus x dy over dx? So we have to find out that entire thing is equal to what? And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, it is 125y second. 124y square, third 225y square, the last option is 225y. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So if I have this first of all written down the entire expression which says y is x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15 plus x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15. If I have this entire value of expression for y, if I'm differentiating it with respect to x, so I get here when I differentiate it with respect to x, I get dy over dx is equal to derivative of this entire expression is 15. And assuming this is x, I get x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14 into further i'll have to take the derivative of x plus root of x square minus one plus the same thing here if i assume this is x x raised to 15 the derivative that is 15 into that entire bracket raised to 14 into further derivative of x minus root of x square minus one so you have this entire thing given to you now once i have this I can write that as 15 x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14 into derivative of this entire expression which is derivative of x which is 1 plus derivative of root of x square minus 1 which is 1 over 2 times root of x square minus 1 into derivative of this x square minus 1 which is 2x plus 15 you have x minus root of x square minus 1 the whole raised to 14 and derivative of this entire bracket is 1 minus 1 over 2 root of x square minus 1 into 2x so you have this entire expression again now if i try to cancel some ideas here i can cancel out 2 i can cancel out 2 here as well now once i have this cancelled out Let's see what I get further. So I get dy by dx is equal to 15. You have x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14. Into we have further. If I try to solve it further, I get this as root of x square minus 1. If I multiply here. So cross multiply and solving, we get root of x square minus 1 plus x over root of x square minus 1. And plus the other term 15, x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14. And the other term again, if I try to solve it, root of x square minus 1 gets multiplied. So it becomes root of x square minus 1 minus x over root of x square minus 1 again. So it, now if I try to take out some things common here, I have 15 common. I also have root of x square minus 1 common. You are left with x plus root of x square minus 1, the whole raised to 14. And this is also that same thing. So x plus root of x square minus 1 basically becomes 15 times. Plus you have x minus root of x square minus 1 
this is 14 times and if i want to make this also same i'll take out minus sign common so you have again x minus root of x square that entire thing and I have taken from the denominator root of x square minus 1 here. So if I take it on the other side it becomes root of x square minus 1 dy over dx is equal to 15. This becomes x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15 plus into minus makes it minus x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15. So you have this entire function in the form of force derivative now once you have this you need to find d2y by dx square as well so i will differentiate this again with respect to x so if i differentiate it again with respect to x let's see what it is so if i differentiate it with respect to x on both sides you get on the left hand side root of x square minus 1 into d2y by dx square plus you have dy by dx as it is so root of x square minus 1's derivative becomes 1 over 2 times root of x square minus 1 into 2x dy by dx will keep it as it is it's equal to now if i solve for this entire thing you have 15 out already and you have in the entire inner part here it has Again, if I assume this is x, it becomes x raised to 15. Derivative of that is again 15 x raised to 14. So x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14. Into further derivative of this, we have assumed it as x. So 1 plus 1 over 2 root of x square minus 1 into 2x. Right. And for the next part, we have minus sign. Again, if I assume this entire thing as x, it becomes x raised to 15, which is 15 x raised to 14 into derivative of this entire expression which we assumed as x so derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of this is 1 over 2 root of x square minus 1 into derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x so you get this entire thing now once you have this entire thing if you solve it further you get 2 and 2 cancelled 2 and 2 cancelled 2 and 2 cancelled and once you have this 2 and 2 cancel, you have here 1 over root of x square minus 1 dy by dx plus root of x square minus 1 d2y by dx square is equal to. Again from here I can take out 15 common so you get 15 into 15. This, if I try to solve it, I get x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14. And this, if I solve it, I call cross multiply. So you get root of x square minus 1 plus x. So again, you get x plus root of x square minus 1 over root of x square. And minus, this becomes x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14. And this, if I solve it further, you get root of x square minus 1 multiplied with 1. So you get root of x square minus 1 minus x over root of x square minus 1. So you have this entire expression. Now let's see and solve it further. So I have root of x square minus 1 also. I can take it out common. So I can write that as 1 over root of x square minus 1 dy by dx plus root of x square minus 1 d2y by dx square it's equal to 15 into 15 which is 225 over root of x square minus 1 multiplied with this entire thing so if i try to solve this i have already taken out root of x square minus 1 common here so now we are left with x plus root of x square minus 1 14 times and here it is one time so it basically becomes Nothing is there means it is one time here. It basically becomes 15 times. So you get x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15. And you have minus x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 14. And the last term if you see from there also if I take out minus sign common. So if I take out minus 1 common which is multiplied here, you again get x minus root of x square. 
So you have this entire thing. Now further, if I take root of x square minus 1 and on the other side, it gets multiplied with both of these terms. So when it gets multiplied with both of these terms, you get root of x square minus 1 over root of x square minus 1 dy by dx. Plus, you have root of x square minus 1 getting multiplied here. So it becomes x square minus 1 d2y by dx square is equal to 225. And this becomes x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15 minus into minus s plus. So x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 15 as well. So you have this entire thing. And if I try to solve it further, this gets cancelled. You are left with x square minus 1 d2y by dx square plus dy by dx is equal to 225. And if you see this entire bracket, it does nothing but y. So you get that as equal to 225y. And I think if you see the question here, it is x square minus 1 d2y by dx square plus x dy by dx and which is equal to 225y. So if you see this, it matches with option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on differentiation. So once we had our expression given to us, we found the first derivative of that expression. We tried to simplify as much as we could. And then we found out the differentiation again with respect to x. And once we solved it further, we got that answer matching with option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, Please do support the channel as well and also like the videos on my channel. Also subscribe to my channel and do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.